Apparently Icarus is a beast. This isn't coming from me. This is coming from other content creators that I watched. And they said he was a beast. So I invested in him. Turns out he is a beast. Let's get to the video. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for him, cheer them, scream their names. And years later, they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught him to hold on a second longer. I believe there's a hero in all of us. Hi guys, I'm Gravy here, and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, I'm going over Icarus and Cersei. Now, I made this mistake in the beginning. Mistake. Mistake is a strong word. Um, when I got Icarus and Cersei, I read Beast Kit, and I did not read Cersei's Kit, and Beast Kit seemed to go along very, very well with the blaster, with um, basically helping an entire team. Um, lately, I haven't been able to use them in the areas that I've finally progressed to, and I've plopped in Cersei, and she seems to be doing the damn thing, but I want to read their kits and check to be on the safe side. So now I'm going to go through their kits and see how they synergize and whether I've been making the right decision or not. So here we go. Going into Icarus. Now, so you guys know, full disclosure again, how did I get Icarus up to this level? First off, there is a like, um, what is it called? Those time capsule packs or where you can go immediately to level 80 or immediately to levels. I bought two of those. Um, no, three of those. I bought three of those. And then also they had his shards in the offers. And because of what those content creators said, I went ahead and got like two of those packs to get them up to uh, seven star. Um, and they were like five bucks. So it wasn't like crazy, crazy, but still, you know. And then they had a special offer for red stars only for Icarus and Cersei for some reason. And I went for it. I think that was five bucks. And I lucked up and got Icarus seven. I got it would have been Icarus or Cersei and it would have been Cersei or Icarus at five, six or seven. And I got lucky and I was able to get the seven for Icarus. So seven red stars, seven stars all together. He is my highest, strongest hero in the game. Um, and I guess I'm going to just keep pushing him up until I get him to tier 18, which seems like a very high hill to climb. So we'll see how that goes for me. I'm sure he'll be at tier 18 sometime in 2030. So. Let's go ahead and get into his kit. Uh, Cosmic Burst. Up, 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 up. Attack primary target, 220 piercing. If Cersei's an ally, well, damn. That already tells me right there. Should have had her in there because bonus attack for 200% piercing. So 420% piercing, that means piercing is ignoring defense. If I had Cersei running with me, I didn't have her running with me. I was using Beast. If an ally Cersei has 50% health, max health or greater, apply offense up for two turns on that Cersei. If an ally Cersei is below 50% health, apply two regeneration to that Cersei. Apply assist now to a random Cersei ally. Okay. When forced to attack an ally, this character deals less damage to eternal characters. When for, I guess that's I guess there's like a control thing where you can have them attack your own characters. Oh, and by the way, plus 60% damage to the primary target. If Cersei is an ally, bonus attack two times. So I get to attack two more times if I go. Why is this not level seven for me right now? Why? Uh, bonus attack. Yeah, that was a thing. That was a th oh bonus attack bonus. Okay. I misread that. Apologies. So it is a bonus attack. So that means that is why. Ah, uh, see, I'm learning. I'm learning. This is why whenever I was attacking, playing the game, he was hitting twice. He's been hitting twice recently. Why recently? Because I've had Cersei on the team recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sherlock Holmes, I am not. But don't tell my friend. She thinks that, yeah, we're having this argument about who's Sherlock, whatever. Anyway, so, so that means that that bonus attack would go up to 260. Oh no, I would attack twice for 200% piercing. I need to do this immediately, as soon as I'm, as soon, because he's my damage dealer and he's the one who's helping me get through a lot of these campaigns. As soon as I'm done with this video, guess what I'm doing? I'm getting that up to level seven. I don't care what I gotta do. Okay, I do care what I gotta do. 
but you know, you know what I mean. All right, so on Superior Blast, attack primary target for 340% damage, clear death proof, death proof is, you know, can't die, you survive with one health, gain 5,000 extra focus for this attack. I guess that's just to help clear death proof. 5,000. Uh, attack all adjacent targets for 310% damage. On target block, bonus attack primary and adjacent targets for 230% piercing. Maximum of two bonus attacks. So it's not even a chance. He's going he's gonna to do two bonus attacks if it's blocked. Yo. Apply two death proof to this character and random Cersei ally. So Cersei needs to be on there. Gain an assist from a random Cersei ally. 50% chance to gain assist from a random ally. Gain an assist from Cersei. 50% chance to apply an assist for, um, from a random ally. To gain an assist from a random ally. Yo. All right, so. Pierce, uh, whoa, 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 let me go to the top. Attack all enemies for 300% damage. On kill, repeat this attack. This is the thing that's awesome. This is the thing that's awesome. I love doing it. If Cersei is an active ally, flip three positive immunities to negative on each enemy. Gain 500% extra focus for this action. I Meaning you do need to have the focus in order to flip those abilities. Attack all enemies for 300% damage, plus 40% piercing, plus reduced speed bar for all enemies by 25%. On kill, attack all enemies for 300% damage, 40% uh, piercing. This attack cannot be dodged or blocked. And then plus 100% damage on all attacks. If Cersei is an active ally, flip all positive effects to negative effects on each enemy. Dude, why was I not running him with Cersei? I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. Why was I not running him with Cersei? Freaking beast, man. Uh, so now, if this character's health is full at the start of the match... At the start of a match, I mean, I would hope so. The first time this character drops below 40% health, clear all negative status effects on this character. Plus, heal self for 60% of this character's max health. So, so it's basically clear all buffs and take them back up to full health. He is nuts. On spawn, apply uh, offense up for two turns to self and all eternal allies. Okay. In arena or dark dimension, instead apply offense up for two turns to self and all allies. So if I'm in arena or dark dimension, he'll apply the offense up to everyone. We'd like to see that. Next, on turn, if not stunned, clear ability block. Oh, see, this is the thing I was worried about before with the ability block, so you wouldn't be able to use his A3, but if it's on his turn and if he's not stunned, that ability block is removed and a random negative effect uh, from self Cersei allies, and the most injured ally. So you're going to clear the ability block and then one negative status effect from self, Cersei. Okay, cool. On turn, if not stunned, gain defense up. If not stunned, he gains defense up for two turns, plus speed up for two turns. Then choose one random enemy that has death proof. Then choose one random enemy that has death proof. Clear death proof on that enemy. Apply one death proof up to a max of five to self and all eternal allies on this turn. If Cersei is an ally, heal self by 15% of this character's max health. <sighs> His kit is, who even, who can memorize this? Gain 20% armor. Cersei allies gain 20% armor. Gain 25% resistance. Cersei allies gain 25% resistance. In arena or dark dimension, gain 25% damage. Cersei allies gain 25% damage. This is nuts. He has so much in his kit. Damn, I can't memorize all this. And then plus 10% armor for self and Cersei allies. 25% resistance for self and Cersei. Like, all I know is it's just a lot of good, but it's so much stuff, man. So much stuff. Yo, Cersei. Cersei, Cersei, Cersei. And I do have her level seven up here. All right, anyway, so let's get to it. Copy two random positive effects, excluding taunt. Thanks. On a primary target to self. All right. Uh, if Icarus is an ally, flip two random positive effects on, uh, two negative uh, effects on the primary target. 
Okay. Gain an assist from a random Icarus ally on the A1. Okay. In Arena Dark Dimension, instead, instead copy all positive effects, excluding taunt from target to self. If Icarus is an ally, flip all positive effects on the target to negative status effects. When, folk, when forced to attack an ally, this character deals less damage to eternal characters. Okay, cool. We like that. All right, apply stun to the primary target. Call two random allies to attack the primary target. Uh, called allies. Called allies gain 50% damage for this act. So they gain 50% damage if they're called assisted. If they are called to assist. Uh, barrier self and Icarus ally for 30. Barrier self and Icarus ally for 30% of this character's health. So there's a barrier that goes up for 30% of her health on Icarus and herself. In Arena, barrier all other allies with 30% of this character's max health. Now, down to Eternal Slam. Clear three negative status effects from self and all allies. We'd like to see that. In Arena and Dark Dimension, instead of three, instead flip three negative status effects into positive on self and allies. So that means that if you have the negative, it'll flip to the positive if you're in Arena or Dark Dimension. However, otherwise, it's just going to be cleared. Um, attack all enemies for 350% damage. If Icarus is an ally, reduce speed bar for all enemies by 25%. Oh, and the part that I forgot, plus 100% damage to all allies. Apply speed up for two turns. Generate two ability energy for self and an ally, Icarus. They really do go. They go together. All right, so, and then lastly... Passive ability, Eternal uh, ele uh, Elementalist. If this character's health is full at the start of a match, the first time this character drops below 40% health, clear all negative status effects on this character, heal self by 60% of this character's max HP. And that would be 70% of max HP, and then um, gain 25% focus for self and Icarus. Uh, on spawn, apply defense up for two turns to self and all Eternal allies. In arena or dark arena, instead apply defense up for two turns to all allies. On turn, if not stunned, gain defense up for two turns plus speed up for two turns. Then choose one random enemy that has death proof. Clear death proof on that enemy. Then apply one death proof up to maximum to self, up to a maximum of five to self and all eternal allies. On turn, this is so much. On turn, if Icarus is an ally, heal self for 15% of this character's max health. Gain 20. This make some of this stuff is making so much sense as I've been watching the game and how they're happening and how they're healing and things like that. Some of this is making so much sense. Gain 20% max health if or gain 20% max health. Icarus get all allies gain 20% max health. Okay. Gain 25% focus. Icarus allies gain 25% focus. And then in Arena Dark Dimension, gain 25% damage. Icarus allies gain 25% damage. So that is Cersei. Cersei and Icarus go together. They need to be together. Absolutely awesome pairing. And their kits bounce off each other so well. I cannot believe I was dumb enough not to like actually invest in it as much as I should have. But in any case, there you go. All right, so now that I've gotten... The Eternals, well, just Icarus and Cersei. And I got the Uncanny X-Men, and I got the, the Symbiotes kind of settled in reading their kits. Probably going to read a little bit more, but now I'm going to try to get into some play testing. So, be on the lookout for those videos coming up next. Thank you guys for watching so much. Please like, please subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe and a dislike. I'm okay with that as well. See you guys next time.